were there? Where did you come from? Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode with me, Flash Rabbit. I'm here in my single player Let's Play Survival World. Today I'm going to sort this nether portal out. Um, it's just been set up there and it's been looking a bit plain and it's been bothering me to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to decorate it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet. As always with my build, I kind of build them on the fly and wing it a little bit. Um, I've decided that it's going to be based around a circle, but beyond that, I've not a clue how it's going to turn out. So come with me, we'll do it together and see what happens. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is finish off this circle. Um, I started it just before you arrived, but I didn't have any scaffold with me. So I've just been back into the storage room uh, and got myself some scaffolding, which is going to make the job all that much easier. Uh, where are we now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, so we want one there, one there. That needs to go. We want one there, and there. And that needs to go. And then the same again here. Why is it not? Let's jump on there. There you go. Right, and then we need to get rid of the one underneath it. Like that. So then I need to come up one there. That's right, that's better. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And then that one needs to come out. Right, so we've got the basic shape now. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a mixture of stone. I'll probably put some obsidian in there. Uh, perhaps some nether brick, maybe. Um, cobble, andesite. Maybe some vines, some leaves, we'll see how it turns out. So eventually what's going to happen, the uh, the nether portal frame will match the size of this circle. So the this will become a border to the uh, to the portal. It's not going to stay that size, that would look ridiculous. But I, I, was, I was trying to think maybe something along the lines of a hole that, where the nether portal has almost been sucked back into the earth. Uh, I don't know whether I'm capable of making that work <laughs> but that's the kind of look I'm trying to to go for uh, although it's part of the terrain it's it's been added later it's, it's not something that's always been there uh, and by it appearing it's, it's kind of sucked in uh, the, the terrain around it uh, yeah not sure but I need to sleep anyway because night time is rapidly falling uh, I'll do that and we'll crack on with it. So this is where I am now. Uh, I'm putting, well I've put two rings around so far. One outside of the original ring and I'm now in the process of putting a ring on the inside. Uh, so this is the sort of thing I'm going for and obviously it needs to be built up a great deal more before it's finished. Um, but I think it's coming along okay. So let's uh, let's go and do the rest of this. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know if I can get past the berries. Uh, right, okay, let's go up here. Let's have a look. Where are we now? There. Right, so coming up this way. So we want to come up, come up here. We want a combination. Mm. Obviously, run out of um, mm. run out of andesite now. So I need to go. Well, I need to go and grab some more of that actually. But we'll just do this side out of cobble and stone. Now it doesn't really matter because it's completely random anyway. I'm not following any uh, any specific pattern, um, so it, it's not the end of the world. I will go and get some set anyway, just for variation, uh, so it's not just all the same uh, all the way around. Right, so take that off. Put that there. same on this side and then we'll go and get some underside. There, that's it. Right. And then we want to come up 
there. And then we need to come up there. There, there, and then I used to go there and there, and that's that. Right, let's just get these extra blocks out. Where they shouldn't be. scaffold so I think that completes that ring doesn't it yeah there we go so it's getting there isn't it it's taking shape uh, and then I, I'm going to build up and sort of terraform around it as well um, so it should in theory look reasonably good when it's finished Oh, I suppose that remains to be seen, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to go and get some andesite. I'll be back in a minute. This is what we have so far. I've built around it more. It's just completely random. I'm not following any pattern. I'm not following any technique. I'm just sticking blocks down, standing back and seeing how they look. Now, I want to build it out more. I want to build this hill up more so that this is kind of incorporated into the side of the hill or the side of the mountain. Um, rather than just being stuck there uh, I kind of wanted it to look like like I said before almost like it, it had been put there and it had drawn in the terrain around it um, as a result but I'm not sure whether that that look is actually coming off but all the same I still like it it's, you know I, th I think it's coming along alright there's still a lot of work to do I want to sort of build it up more like I say I want to incorporate into this hill um, I might do some sort of pattern at the back because um, I, I want to block off the back wall so that nothing, anything that comes through comes through the front uh, I might even put a gate there or something I'm, I'm not entirely sure I, I might leave it I don't know we'll see um, but anyway let's talk let's crack on with it and uh, put some more blocks down so at the moment I'm just sort of scattering these blocks around here because I want the the hillside to be more rocky than dirt so I'm just getting rid of getting rid of bits of this and just chucking blocks in uh, I'll show you what I've done behind it like I say it's I've only been concentrating on the front so this this is completely not you know it's completely as it was I've not really touched that uh, so of course I don't want this kind of look at the back either I want this to be uh, to be part of the design in the same way the front that is like okay yeah that's not not bad I want it to come more sort of down this way as well so it wraps around um, <laughs> I even thought last night actually uh, when, when I I don't know about you but when I go to bed I just put, close my eyes put my head on the pillow and I start thinking about Minecraft builds and what I can do in Minecraft which keeps me awake um, and I was thinking of trying to make some uh, almost like devil's horns out of the rock that go up behind it um, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure whether that that just look a bit rubbish I just wanted to show you where I am at the moment I've started to scatter some uh, nether brick into the mix as well because I'm well the thought I've got is that sort of the, the nether has burst through uh, and ripped a hole if you like in in reality almost and it's sort of I don't know it's sort of created this portal and some of the nether has sort of pulled through into the overworld um, that's the idea about putting the nether brick in there whether it actually achieves that effect is a completely different matter um, I've put more uh, stone and cobble and andesite and so on uh, in and around the portal I'm building up higher here and then once I've got the general kind of shape that I want at the front uh, then I'm going to kind of terraform it behind uh, and bring it down so it blends into the mountainside behind um, I still want to come a little bit more around here 
Um, on this side, I don't know because that that's not how the terrain goes. So I don't really want to recreate the terrain. I want to work with the terrain that's already there um, because I, I, I want it to look as naturally formed as possible, if you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's where I am now. I'm liking the way it's coming along. It's it's not. I'm not unhappy with it. Um, I'd, I'm still got work to do. Obviously, I've got more uh, more stone and cobble and what have you to put in there. And I'm thinking I might put some vines in there. And I'm also I don't know. I'm also considering having little holes uh, with lava running in the hole behind, so it creates a bit of a lava flow as well. Uh, I'll give it a go and I'll, I'll try it out. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, but I'll carry on now with this and I'll bring you back shortly. I need to go into the nether and get some more nether brick from the, the nether fortress that I found. Uh, so while I'm there, I'm going to collect some more blaze rods. <laughs> I hate the nether. Right, I'm just going over to the uh, village breeder and potion room to get some fire resistance potions because I think they might come in handy. Here we are back at the nether portal and it's it's looking impressive I think. I think it's looking fabulous, it's turning out very nice. And of course still not finished, we've got a lot to do yet. Now it's a bit of a trudge, whoops, oh good grief, what's happened here all oh, my days. I'm being attacked, I'm being attacked. Right, we're going to have to sort some sort of gate on the uh, on the other side I think so that we don't, don't get this happening. My gosh, look at this, Being mobbed by zombies in the nether. Get off, get off, go away, go away. Oh good lord, oh another one. Gee whiz, where have you all come from? My goodness. Right, okay. Um, this is what I've done in the nether. This is going to be my sort of nether hub. But, um, again, it's one of those things that I've got to get around to doing. But I dug a tunnel all that over there to the nether fortress. Uh, and it's the only tunnel that I've dug so far. It's a bit of a trudge, so I'm going to get on with it and I'll meet you over there. Right, okay, so here we are at the Nether Fortress. Uh, I'm just going in now. I haven't taken a fire resistance potion just yet because I don't really need it. Um, I've got to try and remember where the blaze spawner is. <laughs> I don't know whether I will be able to, to be honest. Uh, oh gosh, crikey, I didn't know where I was going then. I thought I was going to go for a burn. Right, let's find the blaze spawner to begin with. Uh, and then go from there shall we right i'm having this glowstone for a start i've not seen this before so it's dead the blaze spawner that i found that definitely isn't down here because otherwise i would have had this glowstone beforehand um but there may well be another blaze spawner i don't know Right, I'm not going to get that because that's just going to fall, isn't it? It's going to be a waste. Right, there it is. Hello, boys. Let's get some food because it's a bit peckish. Right, come on, boys, where are you? Wow. Who is that? Right, Two of them. Look at them. Yeah, yeah, come on, hit me with the fireballs, I don't care. I'm not interested. Three of them, my goodness. Oh, you sigh, you're killing you, no, you fool. Right, there you go, dead. You stop trying to kill me. Right, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my... Uh, put my looting sword in my right hand. And I'm going to put my bow in my left and that way even though I'm killing these with my bow I get the looting effect so I get more for my money so to speak I'm going to go up there and get that quartz while I'm here as well right here we go yeah not afraid of you do your worst fire resistance potioned up so yeah don't care Right, let's have a look at this, get some of this. I do like to collect quartz when I'm in the nether because um, it's not readily available. I mean, it, it's not a rare block or anything like that. It's just, obviously, you've got to dig for it. And you've got to go searching for it. What's down there? I've not been up here. So, let's have a look.
recording videos during lockdown I thought it would be absolutely brilliant I'd have loads of time to record videos um, but I didn't take into account how much interaction I need to have with the children um, no of course I did uh, and I, I love it I love it and I love them to pieces and I wouldn't change it for the world uh, they're currently playing Karate Kid <laughs> downstairs while I'm recording uh, so if you can hear noise it's just them two killing each other uh, right I mustn't forget I mean, I'm here for Netherbrick predominantly that's what, I've come, that's what I've come here for not the laser ones but I might as well get them while I'm here aren't I no point missing an opportunity is there So in saying that, I had to go down and referee between them because uh, it's getting a bit too much for my eldest. My youngest boy is, uh, is he loves his rough and tumble uh, and he can really hold his own, uh, which is sometimes a bit too much for my eldest. Uh, oh my day! Oh! My <laughs> boy just run out! Uh, right, okay, let's get that done. Uh, uh, all right, all right, steady on, boys. Right, there we go. We're back to business. Good lord, look at them all. There's loads. Dear lord, there's loads of those little monkeys. Good gracious. And they're still spawning. Good lord. I don't think I've ever seen too many blazes in my life. Good, look, look at them all. If I didn't have this fire resistance potion, I'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> a lot of trouble. Scoop up all these blaze rods. Nothing else because I've no food in me. I'm gonna die. I said I wouldn't need all of those uh, fire resistance potions, but I'd, I'd correct myself because I do. <laughs> oh my goodness! Even with the fire resistance potion, that has to be one of the scariest moments <laughs> in my Minecraft life. Goodness me, that was that was bad. That was a lot of oh, green there. Yeah. That's a lot of blazes. A lot of blazes. Right, let's have a look. Let's get rid of this, and then we'll see how many blazes. Oh, see uh, how many blazes. Isn't it? Oh, I just remember to keep my eye on the uh, on the 
fire resistance icon there up at the top right of my top right of my screen. If I, let's have a let's have a look. If we turn our menu off, it tells us here uh, how much we've got left on our fire resistance potion. So we've got a good six and a quarter minutes uh, thereabouts. Oh, and a ghast as well to join the party. Let's see if I got a ghast here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be a nice bonus. Where did he go? Where did he die? I don't think there was a gas here that time, never mind. Right, how many have we got? 54. We're almost at a stack. Where the? Where did you come from? Jeez, how to goodness me. I scared the living daylights out of me, that did. Face to face with a ghast. Not what you want. Right, well, get rid of the bottle. It's more, more important to have the, uh, the ghast here, I think. Uh, get rid of that cobble so we can carry the nether act. Uh, the uh, nether brick. Right. Getting rid of these two. And then I'm off. Drop anything? I don't think he drops anything. Oh. Right, boys, I've had enough. I'm going. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, <laughs> it was a bit hairy at points, uh, but on the whole. It was a successful trip. I didn't die, which is always a good thing. Uh, so I'm going to make my way back down this tunnel uh, to the nether portal and now I'm going to carry on decorating it. So this is the finished result behind me. What do you think? Do you like it? I'm not so sure about the lava, you know. Um, I've put it in and I'm going to leave it for now, but uh, I'm reserving judgment. I'm reserving judgment. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, does it look okay? I like it. I, I mean, generally speaking, I like it. Like I say, I'm not sure about the lava, um, but I like the the surround as another portal. It certainly brightens it up a little bit, and it makes it look a little bit more interesting than just a square lump of obsidian. So for now, I'm going to say bye bye. Thank you so much for coming along. It's been <laughs> it's been an action-packed episode. I really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. If you have, please press the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out loads. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads in the future, press the bell icon and I'll be sure to let you know the next time you upload a video. But for now, thanks for watching. Bye.